Hello friends, uh, welcome to Electrical and Instrument Engineering channel. In this video, I'm going to show you water tank filling and discharging with the help of timers. And we we'll realize the logic with the help of uh, PLC simulator as well as uh, animation software. So this is the ladder logic I have made and uh, I have used uh, off data timers for filling and discharging as well. So let us understand first the control purpose, how the application should run. When we would come to know that uh, how the application application should run, then only we can make perfect logic for it. So uh, let us understand that first. So this is the animation software. This is the water tank in which the water would uh, get filled up. Now we have, uh, this is the control panel. And in this, we have one fill push button and another one is the discharge push button. So when I press fill push button, the fill valve should get open. So I have to generate an output which will open the fill valve. Through this fill valve, the water would come out and it will start filling up the tank. When I press discharge push button, then discharge valve will get open. So the output of the discharge valve should get generated when I press discharge push button. So when the discharge valve will get open, the water would start discharging from the tank through this valve. In addition to this, there is an illumination bulb in both the push button has been provided. So uh, when we press uh, fill push button, then the fi uh, fill illumination bulb should glow inside. So we need to generate the output for that too, similarly for the discharge push button also. So in totality, we have four outputs and two inputs. So we have to play with these arios and we have to make the logic accordingly. So this is the logic. Let me go online and now we will realize the logic and we will check it with the help of animation software and simulator. So you can see the PLC has got online. Now we would monitor the logic. So the preset time for the fill tank is 42 seconds I have set and uh, uh, for discharge tank is 55 seconds. This uh, preset time is decided based on the trial and error method. So uh, suppose if the tank is filled up in 30 seconds then we need to put 30 seconds. And when the tank is discharged in 50 seconds, then we have to put 50 seconds. So it's not a big deal. And uh, here, the real time value of the timer would be shown. So that we can check. Okay. So let us uh, simulate it. I'm pressing the fill push button. You can see the position of the valve has been changed. The water has started coming out. And the tank is getting filled up. Let us see what is happening with the time. You can see the time the time of value over here. And currently this logic is running. You can see the fill wall output is uh, generated and the filling of uh, the indicator has been generated. And because of that reason we are having illumination in the fill push button. And uh, this uh, wall has to open because of the this output. Okay. So the preset time is reached, the logic is stopped, and of course the filling is also has got stopped because the wall has got shut off. Now let us press uh, discharge push button. You can see this valve has got opened because this output has been generated to open the discharge valve and the uh, discharge indicator is also has been generated. You can see it is eliminating. The water has started discharging through this valve. See the time of values still uh, 15 seconds across is left. So 
when the preset time is reached, the timer will be off automatically. You can see the preset, the preset time has reached, so the logic is off now. And here also, the logic is uh, the var has got shut off because of the, the logic has got off. So this is the simple program for filling and filling and discharging of the water tank. And uh, in addition to this, what I did here is I have given two interlocks also. The interlocks I have provided because, for example, if someone has pressed fill valve and then he has pressed discharge valve also. So if we are not providing this interlock, then what would happen is both the outputs would get on. And it may happen that uh, at one instance the tank is getting filled up and at another instance the tank is getting discharged also. The two, uh, both the things would uh, be running at a time. So the tank would neither get filled up and it would neither get discharged. So to avoid that condition or situation or you can say the manual error to avoid that we have to provide uh, this interlocks. So what happened is when the fill push button is pressed this two output has got on. So I have taken normally close contact of the fill valve Q0.0 output and I have kept it here at the discharge tank. So when this output would get on even if someone is pressing the discharge push button this input is getting energized then also when it is on it will not allow to get the discharge valve on. Same condition if someone has pressed uh, discharge push button and uh, uh, the fill push button is uh, not generating any output then in that case after pressing the discharge push button if someone is pressing the fill push button then this output the normally close contact of this output I have kept here it will not allow to generate the output for the fill valve so you can avoid that particular instance so I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more upcoming videos. In my next video, I am going to show you monitoring and controlling the level of the water tank with the help of level transmitter. So stay, stay tuned with us. Hit on the bell button to get the notification of our next video. And if you have liked this video, hit on the like button. Thanks for watching this and thank you very much. Enjoy learning. Thank you.